<laughs> Boom! Look at this! Hi guys! We got a package from CNC Drive LTD, all the goodies for this CNC machine, only the motion controller part. So we still didn't decide what to do with the servo motors and with the spindle. Don't worry, slowly, slowly we will get there. I hope you get this joke, eh? <laughs> you know guys, I did a lot of research uh, what kind of uh, system I will install into this uh, really big and heavy uh, CNC machine and on the end I choose the UC CNC system. I think in the next video I will explain to you guys why exactly, but the main reason of course is the price. You can get let's say a muscle uh, motion controller for about $1,300 is the muscle touch, if I remember good, uh, which is meaning here in Europe you have to pay for it like 1,500 or even 600 uh, euro. So the CNC drive LTD, now they're running a, a kind of a really nice uh, summer action, sales, whatever. Now you can get the motion controller, two power supply unit, so the 24 volt and the 5 volt uh, power supply unit, plus some expansion board and the software together for 266 euro which is 321 including the taxes so here you can see yeah so what is this big list here actually i already decided to okay i will spend like let's say 1500 euro on the motion controller part I said, okay, you know what, let's spend the, the rest of the money on the same place. The CNC Drive LTD, they have a really nice website where you can buy many other things, not only motion controller and the software. So they have a lot of small things for CNC modifications, even they have machines and beds and motors and whatever. So uh, I just looked around on a website like really quickly. I even I didn't know what I'm doing. So <laughs> I just spent a little bit of money. I find some interesting parts. So now I will open this box uh, and you guys will see what I got for the same price where in other places you just can get the maximum the motion controller, not anything else or maybe the software. For example, if you go on a Mac 3 or a Mac 4 software, you will pay only for the software at least 400 euro or 1000 euro, something like this for the Mac 4. Here what you will see is the <laughs> results of, the, of this really nice uh, price offer. By the way, they are running this uh, summer sales only until end of June. So after you watch this video, you really has to be really fast and uh, jump on their website uh, to buy this uh, motion controller pack because this is a really nice uh, price offer. First box. So this is the industrial keyboard what I find on their website for 95 uh, euro. This is actually a really nice uh, industrial heavy uh, keyboard, straight USB with a ferrite uh, filter yeah, on, on the cable and the whole keyboard is water proof. You can see here that it so the whole keyboard is in some kind of uh, silicon rubbery thingy and it's true also on the mounting uh, panel side. I think uh, this is a really nice keyboard for 95 uh, euro. One extra keyboard here, I don't know what is this for but definitely there is a Windows button Caps lock, blah, 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 blah. So nothing CNC specific. So my plan with this keyboard, uh, I wanna build a really nice, uh, uh, like a control surface for this CNC machine with uh, touch screen and uh, jog wheel and uh, whatever you will see soon. And uh, this is one of the part uh, of this plan. Oh, oh, guys, this is a, this is a cool one, eh? So um, this one, is a wireless tool height um, sensor. So I paid for 67 euro for it. This is the updated model. We have here five cable on four connection. Maybe you can see here, but this is a, a, some kind of extra uh, grounding. It's a USB 2 uh, cable. So 
but not uh, with the USB uh, protocol. So it's a, a normal analog or digital protocol. Maybe you can see here. So uh, the output is a proper relay drive output, I guess, or I think. They also updated the, the wireless antenna system. Here you see, this is the part of the antenna. So what I have to do with this, I have to drop and install the, the receiver somewhere close to the surface. I think uh, with this one, hmm, I think I will go with like uh, to, to drop it on the machine surface. Uh, it has a springy thingy here, so you cannot crash your tool. So let me show you how it's working. So here is your tool, and when your spindle is just coming down really slowly, ping, and it's touching this surface, then it's sending the radio signal to that, and, and this one is sending the signal to the motion controller. I guess I have to drop it in a battery, probably, yeah. I really, I have no clue how this thing is working. Maybe it's not good, maybe good, we will see. Okay, next boxy, uh, something, uh, oh my God. <laughs> Just the touch, it's already, oh my God, guys. This is really luxurious. So um, the cable, mm, it's really nice. It's really feel like fluke. <laughs> So the shielding is outside, yeah? This is, uh, what is this metaphor? Anyway, this is the business end. Okay, there is nothing electronic inside, I guess, or maybe there is something which is triggering by the touch, but let me tell you, oh my God. So the, the springy is like, it's like a, some kind of gas or fluid or something, and we have here some other feature. And this one, if you believe or not, but you have to attach here. Uh, sorry for my busted finger, I work on my Mercedes Vito and you know, hold the German cars, <laughs> cars a bit, so I lost a little bit of skin in the engine bay. So uh, here we have to attach a tiny tube with the compressed air and every time when you do a probing, uh, the system, should release a little bit of air from here to clean this surface. Now, this surface is some kind of really hard. Yeah, it's, it's, it, I think it's uh, super hard. And this springy thingy, ah, that, that's why I'm feeling like, yeah, really like something like hydraulic or even gas spring or something. So the, the spring and the sensor is double protected from the dust and from the uh, fluids or whatever. And we have like four adjustment screws. So after the installation, I have to measure with the micrometer and uh, to adjust the, the angle of the, the head. I will install this one in a fixed position of the machine and I will set up like a tool height uh, checking position with some kind of macro or whatever in a UC CNC software. And every time when we change the tool manually, the machine will come here, if you believe or not, but this one was way more expensive than the wireless one. 82 euro, huh? There is a third type of uh, <laughs> tool height sensor. Now this one was seven dollar or seven euro. This is a really simple one, you know? It's, uh, yeah, it's just a plate with a fixed height. Of course, I will not crash my 100 euro uh, precisious uh, tool height sensor. So first we will crash this one. Eh? So this is a really simple one. So you have uh, here the, the sensor and this, this is the part what you have to attach to the spindle, something like this, yeah. And then when the spindle is coming down, ping is doing the short here. So then your motion controller can sense it. Ta-da! <laughs> This is definitely not a seven euro something, yeah? So what is this? This is a three-dimensional touch probe with a really high uh, accuracy, I guess. And this was 115 uh, euro total. So the cable, it's a USB-C type of cable, but I don't think so this is running on USB-C, yeah. It's definitely not. It's, it has only three cables, so possibly is a normal NPN or PMP output, probably the yellow one. Ah, there is some specs and some measurements. Very nice. The accuracy of this uh, 3D probe is 
0.01 millimeter so it's not on a micron level but definitely good for a <laughs> wood uh, router and it's uh, tested in this year January 10 eh? very nice some kind of mitutoyo level huh? this is not a joke so there is some movement in the middle no nothing probably piezo electronic or whatever I see uh, some kind of adjustment screws here I will not touch it, yeah, <laughs> of course, probably it's calibrated. By the way, the ball end is, I think it's tungsten, it's not uh, rubin or diamond or whatever, I, I think, yeah, it's feel like a tungsten, with a very small shaft, which is a six millimeter shaft, I don't know, it's a feel like a, a little bit too stiff for this operation. Okay, this really works. The UC CNC software has some kind of really sophisticated uh, probing and sensing and touching and offset system. So it's even capable to do a really basic 3D scanning of your uh, work or, uh, or your original part or whatever. So uh, this is, what is this for? I think I spend, uh, well, <laughs> my money on, on this one. So this is the CNC pendant controller 212 uh, euro and yeah it's a little bit pricey I know you can find this one on a Chinese market for about 168 uh, dollar so the CNC drive uh, guys in Hungary they already programmed this one to the UC CNC system and this is what is mean this UCR201 so you don't have to hack and crack the firmware anymore it's done it's coming with some kind of uh, uh, leg or whatever fixture here which give you the option to to hook okay or uh, with a little bit of feet yeah it's definitely not a fluke fit but can work I guess okay I think I will stick here some kind of really heavy big uh, strong magnets like three or four pieces so then I can stick this one to anywhere else and even I will add uh, here a piece of velcro uh, make sure if I want to stick this one to some aluminium part of the machine I can do this one too of course it has a uh, rotary encoder it feels okay -ishy. I hope we will not miss uh, steps and uh, there is a button here there is a button here there is a really nice e-stop okay and we have function buttons what we can freely configure in the software of this okay not in the UCC and see uh, this one has its own driver software uh, under the UCC and system so over there we can uh, configure the function buttons I much more like the the traditional way like you have a rotary switch and you can switch between the the axes so the pendant is feel uh, heavy and hefty I don't know how these wireless pendants are working or I can trust on them or whatever we will see eh? later if not uh, I just uh, simply will buy some uh, wired uh, uh, pendant. I have uh, two small boxes. So one is the 5 volt. Here it has some kind of line filter, decent size of uh, switching transformer, money capacitors, a little bit of uh, input protection. But definitely this is not a main well. Mm. Power supply, this is done by Weho. Okay. Uh, of course I will test them under load uh, how much noise they're making so if I see anything a uh, problem with them of course I will replace it mm, there is a difference of course uh, so the size of the transformer is a little bit smaller of course because the voltage is higher uh, I see one or two capacitor are missing so it's completely reconfigured probably oh, exactly the same like the other one but it's uh, reconfigured to 24 volt and 1.1 amp and here we can adjust the, the voltage of course uh, nothing fancy I don't know the price sorry because this is a part of the this uh, summer um, sales price so um, what's next uh, oh see something really lovely thingy <laughs> It's only 16 euro. So let me open and show you what is this. This is an industrial joystick. Yeah, it's good for a Commodore <laughs> too because this is an analog. Uh, sorry, it's a digital four position joystick. So, but each of the output has its own. Uh, so there is no common point. Okay, so I can 
uh, do this uh, wire to, to different parts of the machine, no problem. You see, every, every uh, direction has its own uh, uh, common and uh, connector uh, points, so it's altogether like eight connection. And this is the name of it, so TV, PI, something, something. I want to install this one on this uh, touchscreen, uh, keyboard, uh, blah, 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 uh, controller surface as to drive my X and Y positioning, yeah? The Z axis, maybe I will. You know what? I saw on their website the other joystick, which is only two direction. So I guess I will order the, the two direction joystick so which will be marked only for the Z, so the, the height of the, the spindle. Well, what you can buy today for 16 euro? A pizza? Half a pizza? In the States, maybe just a box for the pizza. Other control options and parts for the control board. So this is a um, proper e-stop button. Yeah, really big, really hefty. And um, why I choose this one on the website? Because this has both of the option, okay? So there is two individual output of this switch. Let me show the other one, which is a normal one. Um, you see here, so this one has only one output, good up to 600 volt or five kilovolt even, you know, probably AC, DC, different. You can buy this uh, type of switches almost everywhere. Uh, it doesn't matter. Price, um, so this was seven. Another one, which is a very small one, very tiny one. The price for this one, mini e stop, it's only four, three, three euro. So the small one will go on the control panel surface, and the big one, I want to install this one somewhere else on a machine. So if I'm working on the other end of the machine, maybe I'm dealing with the compressor or the vacuum tubes or whatever, I also want that. Uh, is the button, okay? And of course we have the other one on the on the pendant. Now this other one, I think it's interesting. This is water uh, proof push button. Uh, my plan uh, to use this switch to control maybe the compressor or maybe the the coolant or to ignite a macro like a probing function or a tool height uh, sensing function. We will see. Yeah? This was not cheap. Waterproof momentary. Yeah, this was three euro. Eh? This one is a line laser. Uh, in, a, in a wood working CNC setup, whatever, uh, there is uh, many times when you really just uh, position your tool with the eye because, you know, it, it's a wood, so you don't have to be uh, super precise. For that, we have this other 3D touch sensory thingy, but for most of the case, like 99%, when I will set up the Z and the Y, zero, this will be, this will be enough. Price for this uh, laser thingy, it's, it's four euro, so it's like nothing. Okay, now, next thingy. A uh, very lovely, very small workpiece holders and uh, a clamping uh, solution, yeah, which is going like this. And then I got this type. Those ones are really small, okay? Really tiny, really, really nice, uh, lovely thingies. So this one is like a um, vertical, okay, clamping solution. Uh, <laughs> this old Tony just made a video How about these things, no. No amount of force trying to lift this clamp will unlock this mechanism. The geometry changed, that pivot went over center, and now it's trying to rotate the wrong way if I try to open this clamp. It's just driving all that force back into itself, completely bound up, and nothing. You could put a six foot cheater bar under here and nothing is gonna get this lever to come back up because it just physically can't. So even if it looks small, mm, it can hold up like 27 kilo, yeah? And uh, each piece, it costs like uh, three euro. Of course, I will install them permanently on my waste board, okay? And I will have a, a, a small size of waste board with those thingies. And then this one, other one, this is really smart, is uh, like pushing 
uh, from the side. So I really I can work and cut on the top surface of the material. As you can see, it's a little bit bigger than the other one. Yeah, now you can see. Huh? Believe me. This will be a really handy, handy stuff, yeah? So from that I got six and six pieces. Now, these guys are ferrites, pretty normal stuff. I guess there's ones like $1 or maybe 50 cents or something like this. Uh, next uh, bag. So this is uh, much more bigger, much more powerful. Again, I will install those guys on some kind of uh, big uh, heavy waste board. And uh, with this, I think we can, we can manage uh, to hold on even metal, I don't know, yet. Because we have here more uh, clamping solution, yeah? So this is going into the steel slot, and this one is going, uh, oh, it has a really nice uh, brush uh, insert. Have a look, look at this. Oh, I can understand the, the price a little bit. Of course, I will cut those. Really long, oh my god, this is crazy long. What is catch my eyes is this long uh, finger, so I can really clamp down the workpiece really far away from the clamping solution. So from that again, I got like uh, six pieces again. This is the motion controller from the CNC drive, uh, LTD, for the UC CNC. And this is not USB anymore. This is Ethernet based. And I read it on their website, they're already working on the Ethercat solution for the UCCNC software. In the future, they can drive directly the servos uh, which has Ethercat uh, function or connectivity. For example, now the ClearPath servos, they will go on, um, from the Technic, uh, they will go on Ethercat. And there is many other servo motor drivers and uh, sensors and switches and inputs and outputs, which is Again, is is working with the Ethercat. I think this is the one step before the Ethercat solution, and probably they in the future they can update those uh, motion controller units to utilize the Ethernet port as a Ethercat. There is no more USB. There is no more serial. There is no more parallel connection to your uh, computer. What is mean? I will have only one Ethernet cable, which is going to the controller surface computer or even to my laptop. This one can communicate with uh, different computers, of course, with the same one license, because this is a little bit of trap. So uh, with the UC CNC systems, when, when you get your motion controller and your software, the software is only good for one motion controller. So I don't know in the future, maybe I will run a couple of other machines with UC CNC, maybe laser cutter, maybe plasma cutter, maybe something, something. I don't know how this will work, uh, but definitely that and a solution is a really nice one because with that you can go like 400 meters away <laughs> from your machine and you can be at your dinner table and watch your CNC uh, what it's doing. Otherwise, construction, everything is hefty, everything is metal. Should I open it? Mm, not really, I guess it's just one chip maybe. But uh, the other part is this uh, IO port expansion. With, uh, with this uh, summer sales, they give you the small version. There is uh, some different version of exactly the same motion controls. Uh, so the, the CPU is the same, the software is the same, everything is the same. It's only the configuration of the ports are different. All together, I will have uh, money ports, <laughs> probably more than what I need. So in the future, uh, my CNC will have a couple of buttons, limit switches, uh, pumps, uh, relays, lamp, uh, I don't know what not. So definitely, I, I feel I have enough <laughs> inputs and outputs with this. The name of this one, this is the UCSB, okay, expansion board, and this is the AXBBE uh, motion controller. Uh, guys, I just cannot wait. Uh, you know what? Next week, I guess, uh, we will install this bad boy into the machine already. So I just have to do some kind of uh, gypsy cabling. So CNC Drive RTD has a service to build your box based on your specifications up to the industrial standards, yeah? So, I'm, I did uh, some kind of calculation and it turned out uh, 
it's uh, it's worth the money. You know what? Uh, I, I added everything together and I, I was capable to save a couple of hundreds of euro. And you know, to put my machine and my life and others on risk because I'm not a certified electrician, uh, or I, I kind of certified, but not, not this industrial level. Huh? So, yeah, you know what? Uh, I will utilize the uh, services. So, in uh, next month, we will specify exactly what kind of motors, what kind of uh, drivers, what kind of ampere, how much power, blah, 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 all these things and all the functions of uh, limit switches, which has extra controllers, whatever. And they will build for me the new box. And then, of course, we can compare this uh, 20 year old build by some Chinese guy and the new CNC drive box, including the the new PC and everything. It is, this will be a really interesting video, I think. Uh, but at the moment, I will replace this uh, DSP board over there. Yeah, this one. And uh, the connector board. So we will try out the UCCNC software with the original stepper motor drivers. Uh, that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this episode. I have feel a little bit of mess what I have to clean up. <laughs> and I hope in the next week we will do some cut with the new motion controller, with maybe with the old softwares and some kind of new softwares. I don't know. So this is all what I got for this price, yeah, which is still less than what, let's say, a muscle controller or Acorn or Mac 4, whatever. I'm kind of happy with the amount of uh, toys what we got here. I hope you guys enjoyed. See you next time. Bye. <laughs> and I really like the CNC because they uh, can jump from the CNC to there and from there. You will see, you will see, you will see now. Now jump, hop, hop.